Hmm. Hello, masculine. I've been thinking about you today. I'm thinking about thinking about the times when the drop takes over and you fall into the deepest rabbit hole ever. It's often thought of as a dark night of the soul. I know that's kind of what happened when you left. And yes, I know I asked you to leave. I set the boundary. So I knew I knew you had some learning to do and some experiencing to do and I see what's happened. I'm not blind. I'm not unaware. And I know that the people you've surrounded yourself with are they're part of who you used to think you were. And a lot of them are very low vibration, which isn't a judgment. I've been there too. Though many of them play petty games, a lot of mind games. They don't value consent. They don't ask you how you feel, what you want, or stop to say, hey, is this fair to ask of masculine? And I know you've gotten yourself in a financial mess. Oh, trust me, I know. It's the only reason that you'd be taking from my pot and not providing for our kids. It's because you got yourself in a really big mess. And I know that eats at you. And I know that when you drop into these spaces, you you really beat up on yourself. You, you've always been the anxious sort. You try to hide it and pretend that you're really just grumpy or angry or you get really machismo. But I know. I know you. I know you're just anxious and you feel like you've just screwed everything up. And so whenever you get into that space, because sometimes healing is a cycle. You feel like you've just come out and you're on top of the world and you see all the signs and it feels like the <laughs> sunlight from behind the clouds is singing songs to you like that the storm is over now. And then something happens and you drop right back in to those dark and stormy nights and it just feels like the world has gone gray and that there's nothing to be happy about and the, the messes that you've made are just too numerous and the mistakes that you've made are just, they just took it too far. And I want you to recognize that in that moment, I am always thinking about you as my inner being sees you, as spirit sees you, and as you see yourself as you come back out. And yes, there are some times when you get into your darkness that I will have to have good boundaries. I never put a rule on you, but I'll have good boundaries because when you get into those really dark places, what I know is that you need to go somewhere and learn something without me. And, and it's not easy. It's not been easy. Even now when the practice is there and I can do it, it's still not easy because I want to hold your hand. I want to walk with you through the valley of death. I want to show you that there's no reason to fear evil. I want to show you the winding path always leads back to the light. Though sometimes I know that the best way to do that is from a distance and simply as being a good example. And I know, even though you rarely say it, that it, it works better than any amount of force that I could apply, that I used to try to apply. I know you look at me and you think, how does she do it? How does she keep going? How come she's not wrapped up in <laughs> a karmic circus? How come she's not miserable and depressed all the time like I am how come she is slowly building and glowing up and receiving more and more abundance and I am just making a bigger mess 
Though I want you to know that I don't see you making a bigger mess. I see you step by step recognizing how you make the messes and step by step unraveling them and taking accountability. And you come to me sometimes and you tell me about it. I never realized that this was like that. I never realized that this thing happening to you could make you feel this way. I never realized that trying to manage bills and children and a partner who is constantly in the other dimension can be so depleting. And masculine, I... <laughs> I giggle. I know you know it. It's one of the things that I look forward to in this journey, though. It's not fun. Going through the dark times, and I go through them too. I think I've probably gotten a little bit better about not displaying them so much, but I try to show them to you on purpose sometimes, just so that you know I'm not always happy. I'm not always glowing up. I go through the full spectrum of emotions too, and we reflect each other. In fact, really at this point, the only important thing that I've learned that you're still in the process of learning is that when I get stuck, when I'm in the other dimension, I seek to be around people that I know will uplift me and I keep my mind focused on healing and moving back into the light. I don't deny my darkness. I own it. I mess up. And when I come back out, I look at the messes that I may have made and I own them. If there's something that I can do about them, I do it. If it's something that is not for me to fix, I just allow it. I allow it to be whatever it is. If there's others involved and it's meant for them to fix it, I just allow them to do their work and have faith in them. Just like I do with you. And I want you to know that <laughs> those little messages about what you're learning and how you're growing especially when it's not just a fleeting moment of trying to copy what you think it looks like when someone's growing but the real growth those moments make all of the dark days worth it for me and I want you to know that while well, yes I have human moments and and sometimes our timing is off and I might not be the ray of sunshine that you need in every moment I always get back to a place where I see you and I see us and I hear the train coming I know that it's just around the bend one more cycle, one more cycle, one more cycle. I go in and out of the light and the dark, and I, I see you smiling. <laughs> From the 5D all the time, I see your higher self saying, just keep believing. Like that song, don't stop believing. You know? I see you. I see you in a way that others don't. And I want you to know that whenever you're in that dark night of soul, you've always got somebody praying for you. You've always got somebody who doesn't believe the mask you wear and instead sees your inner being, that loving and sweet, vulnerable and <laughs> brave masculine that you are. I don't see you staying in the places that you've been. I can accept the present and that sometimes you can be a jerk but I always see the future coming and in that future I see you growing in your divinity and I see you <laughs> becoming who you've always really been and just thought that you needed to hide from the world and I see you taking pleasure in making amends. And I see you 
enjoying the cycles when they come. So dear masculine, hold on to your heart in the darkest moments and remember you're never really alone.